Welcome to our review on mains electricity. Hopefully we know that mains electricity in the UK has a voltage of 230 volts. Generators in power stations will generate an alternating voltage with a frequency of 50 hertz and this is going to reach our houses through the national grid. At the bottom there I've given you a diagram that shows you what an alternating voltage looks like so make sure you recognize an alternating voltage. If we consider batteries, then these are different to our mains because batteries create a direct voltage. And you can see that that's literally a horizontal line is how it's shown. So direct voltage, horizontal line, alternating voltage is the wavy line. When you take a plug apart in the UK, then you'll find there are three wires inside. The brown one is the live wire, the blue one the neutral wire, and the yellow and green stripy one is the earth wire. We also have a fuse which is a safety device in there and you need to be able to identify and label the parts of the plug shown in that diagram. What we find is that the live wire and the neutral wire make a complete circuit with the appliance. The earth wire is connected to the earth. And that's what you'll see on your house on the right hand side there. Somewhere you should have an earth wire which is connected onto a metal spike that goes into the earth. What we actually find is we've got different voltages depending on where we connect a voltmeter. So if we connect a voltmeter between the live and the neutral wire, then we have a voltage of 230. If we connect it between the live and the earth, a voltage of 230. If we connect it between the neutral and the earth, the voltage is zero, however. The last thing we need to consider are safety features that we have in our plugs and appliances. So if we consider the scenario where the live wire has come loose and touches a metal case on an appliance, it would make the metal case live. So if you then touch that case, you'd be electrocuted, which is not a fun thing to have happen. So what we do is have an earth wire that connects to the case and the earth pole so that the current will flow into the earth wire and not you as that's got less resistance than you do. So that prevents you from being electrocuted, which is always a good safety feature to have. Second thing we've got inside our plug is the fuse so that what happens there is there's a little piece of wire inside the fuse and as the current flows through there, which is too high, it melts the wire and breaks the circuit to stop the current flowing. The last kind of safety feature we can have is what's called a double insulated appliance. So here the case is plastic, so no current can flow through the case to you. So these are the appliances that won't need an earth wire because there's no risk of the live wire touching a metal case because it's not there. And they've got the little symbol of two boxes, one inside the other that I've shown you on the right. Hopefully at the end of this video you can describe the domestic electricity supply in the UK. You can explain the difference between direct and alternating voltage. You can describe the functions of the wires in a plug and recall the different colours of them. You can explain why we have a live wire that could become dangerous. And you can describe safety features that are present within our plugs and appliances.